programa. He's a pedantic, pontificating, pretentious bastard, a belligerent old fart, a worthless, steaming pile of cow dung. <sighs> Figuratively speaking. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host, Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed back to the world of Diablo Immortal. And more specifically, IGN's take on Diablo Immortal. Now, when I read this article, I just found myself cracking up and I thought maybe you would too. So we're gonna check it out together. And by the way, every once in a while, the stars align and I feel like I find the perfect intro for the video. And this time it was liar, liar. I hope you enjoyed that. It felt perfect. Right now we're on the website IGN. Diablo Immortal, a great game that fails where it matters most. Now this isn't an okay game. This isn't an average game. It's not even a good game. It's a great game. It's great. See, that's what they're telling you right here. And then after that first line, they just want to reiterate that to you. A great game marred by an aggressive business model. Oh, they got a little aggressive. They got a little aggressive. Now, actually, before I read this, okay, what actually really made me laugh and make this video is because I felt like the irony in this was just, it was too much for me to handle, was I read it on mobile. Okay, so I actually read it on my phone first before jumping over to PC. And as you can see on mobile, this post might contain affiliation links. If you buy something through the post, the publisher might get a share of the sale. And again, I know that that is not uncommon. You probably find that link on most articles, but the placement of it and the, the talking about Diablo Immortal and MTX, I don't know, it just, it made me chuckle. Okay, just giving it all to you. Diablo Immortal has gained an unsightly reputation since its launch. No thanks to the backlash over its, ready for it, alleged, it's alleged, aggressive, microtransaction model. It's, a, I don't know if it's true or not. Maybe it's not. It's alleged. Even the game's developers have admitted that the game is heavily monetized following the brickbats it received from the community. The game's review scores suffered, <laughs> suffered and became the lowest rated on Metacritic. Now, just in case you were curious, let's get an update on Metacritic. The PC port for Diablo Immortal is currently sitting at a 0 0.3. Now, maybe you're thinking, well, 0 0.3 out of 1, that's not too bad. No, it's not out of 1. No, it's not out of 5. It's out of 10. 0 0.3 out of 10. Now, maybe you're thinking, but Aaron, this is the PC port. This is a beta version. I bet you the iOS and Android Metacritic is way better. And you'd be correct. It is better. It's sitting at a point four. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. However, beneath the huge steaming pile of microtransactions related issues plaguing Diablo Immortal. It is actually an enjoyable gem of a game. Okay, come on. It's, an, it's a gem of a game. Are they doing this on purpose? Are they making fun of us? Gem of a game. Legendary gem of a game? Admittedly, I am lambasted by the game for its flaws, but since it was only recently launched in Southeast Asia, I have spent the better half of last week exploring its expansive world. It does feel jarring to return and log into Battle.net after almost half a decade following Destiny 2's departure from Blizzard's dedicated launcher. It's also a good thing Diablo Immortal offers cross-progression. Okay. Speaking of which, I've been playing on both Diablo Immortal uh, on both iPhone and gaming PC, which runs both perfectly fine, plus crossplay, which allows me to join other adventurers on my PC. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. To add more hilarity to the article. You ready? 
This is my favorite. This is my out of everything so far. This is my favorite art. This is an IGN writing on the action RPG Diablo Immortal. Diablo Immortal is admittedly my first Diablo. Craig. What's up? Are you high? <laughs> they never even played the Diablo franchise. Well, they go on to say this. Although I did dip my toe into Diablo 3, which I did not enjoy. Didn't play D first Diablo, didn't play D2. It means obviously they didn't play Lord of Destruction. Dipped your toe into D3. We don't have D4 and now is playing Immortal and writing an article about it. Absolutely bonkers. The same cannot be said for Immortal, however, as I found myself yearning to pull out my phone and launch Diablo Immortal whenever I had spare time. The satisfaction from killing rogues of demons is just pure bliss. It keeps me hooked to the game. Oh, well, that's what they want. What makes Demon Slaying even better is the loot drops. Nothing beats seeing legendary tier equipment dropping for after slaying a challenging foe. Dungeons and challenge trials offer a satisfying time sink, especially with the Warband. War to be clear, I haven't spent a single cent in Diablo Immortal. Did you hear that? There it is. We were wrong. I don't know what game I played. I don't know. I was wrong. You were wrong. This IGN writer that doesn't know anything about Diablo. They are right. Now, this is the only part where it's like, okay, like you're freaking all over the place. While Diablo Mortal has much to be praised for, I have this sinking feeling as I progress through the game. There is that gnawing feeling that at some point the game will grab me at knife point and force me to spend my life savings to bump up my combat rating, which is an arbitrary number that dictates if I can play with certain people or not. That is not true. With streamers spending tens of thousands and not getting a single gem, I'm fully aware I'm not capable of, or I'm capable of spending that much. <laughs> this to just cherry on top. I guess I'll just enjoy the game for the time being and not worry about how the game will treat me once I reach end game. This person, listen to me, this person, who is this person? Who wrote this? This person writing this article hasn't even reached end game. I hit level 60, Paragon 8, I think in three or four days. This person writing this garbage hasn't even gotten there. Hard stop. That's the video. I want to know your opinion. Is it Aaron? You're blowing this out of proportion. Obviously, you know I'm trying to be funny. I want to know your thoughts. Is this okay? Did we get it wrong? Did I get it wrong? And is this article correct? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. At the end of this video, I have two asks for you. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. Hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. It really does help the channel in 2022. We have a goal of 20,000 subs and we're about 900 away. But again, only if I deserve it. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 41 members that have signed up. Become an instant ARPG VIP and get Patreon exclusive content at the first link in the description. We have weekly podcast, weekly blog post access to my VIP lounge, access to a special title in the Discord, and depending on the level, we could play games together, we could stream together, lots of good stuff, first link in the description. That's all I've got. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron.